Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. Today we're uh, out in the driveway here and uh, going over some alternative fuel stuff because I've had a lot of questions about how we set up multiple tanks on our trucks. So uh, I figured I'd go over the basics with you on our uh, flatbed here. It's the simplest one I've got and it's worked great. So let's get at it. As you can see, we've got a bed mounted tank back here, toolbox, the fill for the tank is actually located in the toolbox, and uh, I've got the stock tank, which the previous owner of this truck ran the fill up through the bed instead of through the side, which is something I've got to fix later, but anyways, this here is a, an approximately 50 gallon tank, and then we've got the factory side mount tank, which is 19. We run out of the drain on this tank to do a gravity setup which comes through here to a valve and then half inch uh, b100 rated fuel hose down to our fuel head down here and don't mind the wiring and the mess of nonsense we've got going on so it's actually been about two maybe three years since i've changed the uh the primary filter for the oil tank back here so I'm gonna go on and do that now that I'm thinking about it. So uh, I'm gonna spin that off real quick and uh, show you how simple this setup really is. Not sure if you can see it, but shut the ball valve off. Oh, come under here. Which this is a Wix filter head and a Baldwin BF1212 filter. Which if I remember correctly, this filter's got a two micron uh, nominal rating and like a 15 or 20 absolute which is plenty for what we're doing so I'm going to go on and crack this drain and just let this filter drain out completely oh yeah there's some there's some good stuff coming out of that but I'm gonna let this drain down for just a minute and I'm gonna spin this filter off and I always keep spare filters in the truck. I keep one for the oil tank and one for the uh, the main engine oil or the main engine fuel filter in the truck as well. And I suggest it if you're uh, going to be doing any of this alternative fuel stuff, because uh, you never know when something can go wrong. You can plug a filter up or something like that and leave you stranded on the side of the road. So keep spares handy. Got the old filter drained and got it dropped off. And we're gonna throw our new one on there. Now be sure there's a center O-ring, which you can't see because it's dark under here, but there's a center O-ring that uh, seals this stud as well. So uh, be sure to replace that on these uh, these Wix filter heads. So like I said, this is just a, a Wix filter head. It's just half inch fuel hose, which is B100 rated. It hasn't, it's been on here for four or five years now which you can't see anything anyways but it's not starting to seep oil or anything like that like normal fuel hose typically does so uh yeah it's worked out well i think it's made by gates but i'll uh i'll look up the part number and post it up and there we go new filter on all we gotta do is uh let's see here turn the valve on and we're good there and check it for leaks I think we're all right there. That old one's uh, seen better days, but hey, it was still flowing, so you know. But uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna hop around the hood and get the uh, get the air purged out of the system, and should be good to go for a long time. Now, nice thing about running an extra filter right off of your oil tank, especially if you run a filter that's got a a lower micron rating than the f main fuel filter for the uh, for the engine the original one on the truck um, you typically won't have to worry about plugging the engine oil or the engine fuel filter uh, from the oil tank because this filter is going to catch anything that other filter would catch and then some 
before it ever gets there. So uh, I've never plugged an engine side well, or an engine side fuel filter. But uh, yeah, I'll get this purged out and get it back going. Well, this truck came with two tanks from the factory, but uh, the rear tank wasn't hooked up when I got it, and the selector valve was broke, and the wiring was destroyed anyways. I don't really care for those six port selector valves. They're problematic anyways. So since all that stuff was trash anyways, I went with three port manual valves. Um, I love the setup. It's simple, it's reliable. There's nothing to go wrong with it. No wiring to worry about, uh, no valves sticking shut or sticking open or what have you that's common on these trucks. And uh, that's pretty well how I set up all of my twin tank setups. It's all manual, it's all simple and the supply lines are all oversized for what they need to be. I typically run half inch minimum. And uh, yeah, it just, it makes things simple and it makes it reliable, which is what we're after. Inside the truck, our fuel line runs up and over the transmission tunnel. And we've got a pair of valves right here. These are three port valves. And uh, this one here is the supply. This one here is the return. Up in this position, they are pulling from, this one is pulling from the factory tank, and this one is returning to the factory tank. But when I switch over, like so, we are pulling from the tank on the bed and returning to the tank on the bed. Pretty simple. So up here, we've got the factory IDI filter head. And uh, yeah, it's running the factory mechanical lift pump down the block. And we come from those three port valves directly to the directly to the lift pump which comes up to the factory filter hood everything else is pretty well stocked and this setup has worked great haven't had any issues out of it in i'd say five six years that i've had this truck and had it running on waste oil and yeah it does great it uh gives us great capacity everything's simple there's nothing to fail the ball valves don't fail. Uh, you don't have to worry about switches failing or wires getting cut or anything like that. So it works. You can, uh, you can do it a lot of different ways. Uh, just think outside the box on it. Uh, the last Mercedes I had, actually, uh, not this one, but uh, my 75 that I had, I actually had a, a small boat tank mounted in the trunk. And ran a couple of valves on it. The boat tank worked as the diesel tank, and I used the big factory tank to hold the waste oil. A couple of mechanical valves made it simple, and it worked. So it doesn't have to be complicated. Uh, I would suggest a filter head in between the your oil tank and the valves, just a, a water separator type filter head, just in case you get any water or any sludge while you're filling the tank up or anything like that. I don't catch it before uh, it makes it to your main filters. But uh, yeah, I've never plugged an engine filter on this flatbed truck. Uh, I've never had any issues associated with the oil system. So it works. We run half inch supply line, uh, mainly because the oil's thicker. So if it's uh, the, the bigger the line, the easier it is for the pump to pull. So. I decided to run half inch line. I'm glad I did. I don't have to worry about it down to single digit temperatures so far. So it, uh, it runs great on it. But anyways, this video is going to be pretty short, but like I said, it's, it's simple. There's not a whole lot to it. Uh, some people run single tanks or want to. I'm currently single tanking in this Mercedes here, but uh, I only run about a 50-50 blend on it. And here soon, I'm going to be changing that up. We're going to be putting a second tank on it, too. So, But anyways, that about covers it for this one, I think. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And we thank you for watching.